Welcome back to BFF 2.0, advice for girls on how you can use technology intelligently in your friendships and avoid online drama. Today's episode is about what happens when someone does something online, you don't know why, and you imagine the worst case scenario. Okay, take this example. Let's say we're really close and I used to sign my texts to you XOXO, but lately my texts haven't been with XOXO and they're only one or two words long. What's going on? Okay, so if you are a worst case scenario person, you've just decided that I'm really mad at you. And maybe you start wondering if you've done something to make me mad. You might even start obsessing about what's wrong. Now, wait a minute. There's actually no evidence that I'm mad at you. All you know is that my texts have gotten shorter and you really have no idea why. The truth is there are a whole bunch of reasons. Maybe I'm super stressed out. Maybe my grades are tanking. Maybe my favorite band broke up. Who knows? The reality is not everything is about you. I mean, I know you're awesome and everything, but there's more going on in my life than just you. So what I'm talking about here is making assumptions, deciding you know what the truth is before you have all the facts. The problem with making assumptions is it doesn't just end in your head. After you decide that I'm mad at you, you're probably going to start feeling horrible. You might want to vent about it to someone and get them involved, drama starter. And you might even start being weird to me tomorrow when you see me, which in turn might cause me to be weird back to you. And then we have totally useless, completely fabricated drama. Okay, so how do you stop your DEF CON 4 freak out? The next time you find yourself deciding that you know exactly why something happened online, even if you really don't know, I want you to stop. Then I want you to think about two other possible reasons that this mysterious event happened. So, for example, Let's say we're chatting and you sign off for no reason. Before I decide that I said something to offend you and make that assumption, I'm gonna stop and think about two other reasons why you might have signed off. So, maybe your mom just walked in. Maybe your house is burning down. Okay, maybe not that, but you see where I'm going with this, right? It's not always about you. And if you make it that way, it's probably gonna get you jacked up for no reason and maybe cause some drama. So if you really need to know why my texts are shorter and why I'm not XOXOing, it's actually your job as my friend to ask me what's up. Don't assume. And I can tell you, and then you can really know the truth instead of just imagining it. That's today's episode of BFF 2.0. If you have any questions about technology and friendship, email me right now at rachel at rachelsimmons.com. Thanks. Bye.